In this video, we're gonna do a smart hula hoop comparison between these two smart hula hoops right here. And something special about these two smart hula hoops is that they both have a counting function that can count the number of spins that go around. I'm Hoop Smiles, and this is Abby. And Abby, later on in this video, will be testing both of these smart hula hoops, and she's gonna let you know which one is better. Now, something noticeably different about these two smart hoops is this one in my hands, it seems to be much more rigid, whereas the one that Abby is holding is much more flexible. Also, both of these smart hula hoops appear to have the Joy Jump label printed on them. Something that this black and white smart hoop has that the pink one doesn't is you are able to open up the centrifugal ball. You do have to take a screwdriver and unscrew it to open it up. Inside, uh, you'll notice that there are some weights. Now, I tried to pull some of those weights out, but they did seem to be stuck in there. Also, there's an empty slot where it looks like a weight should have been, but there's not, so there's only the three weights. A difference between these smart hoops right here, this black and white one did not come with a battery included, so I had to open the counterpart up and install a battery. It does only take one battery. I would say it was fairly simple to do, but it's just an extra step, and you have to have a screwdriver and unscrew it. Whereas this pink smart hoop right here, it came with the counter already working. Another difference between these two is how you put these on. This pink one right here has these little black buckles, whereas this black and white one has this little teeny button that you push in and then you kind of pull it out and then you can go ahead and put it back in like that. Now it is time for Abby to put this smart hula hoop on. So let's go ahead and try this one right here and let's see. How is it taking it apart? Now, if you look at this right here, this does not come apart that far. Whereas the pink smart hula hoop, it is super flexible. So go ahead and put this on. You may have to also be concerned about possibly pinching yourself. So how is it going so far? <laughs> Do you need help? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you so need help? <laughs> when doing this, you have to line it up with the grooves. And once you line it up with the grooves, then you can slide it in. I will say I have never put on the black and white smart hoop right here. When I tried to put the pieces in it, it did take a little bit to get some of these pieces in. It'll be interesting to see if it gets easier over time putting the black and white one together. Ooh. So how does that feel when Feels it's on good. your body? Feels good. Okay, so go ahead and, and try that out. <laughs> how does that feel? I don't know yet, I need to do it again. How does that feel now? Much better. Much better? Yeah. Okay, and how does that feel using that? It's not as smooth as, per se, the white and blue one that we tried the other day. So but... white and blue one that we are not talking about in this review. <laughs> it does look like it's going really smooth. How about the smoothness? And I can make it go faster. Wow, you, you seem to have a, a, lot, a lot of control with this one. Yeah. How does this feel right now? Good. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, it doesn't okay. feel like it's catching as much anymore now that I've got it lower. Something important to think about when using this one is the placement on your body. It sounds like you have to get it lower yeah. on your body. But I can feel it still like trying to catch. Okay. Like I can feel it going over it. It's a little bumpy. So this one is not as smooth feeling, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. So let's go ahead and stop this one. Wow, look at how it's still spinning around when she stopped moving. Now Abby's gonna test out the pink smart hula hoop right here. So go ahead and take that one apart. You just gotta make sure you don't drop the ball when you're... <laughs> and this one, yeah, there's just the black buckles and then you seal them together. And currently Abby is wearing all 24 links in this one right now. Now Abby's gonna give this it one... broke again. Oh, this just broke? Yeah. So go ahead and give it another spin. Oh, it broke. So, and it broke. So that is something to think about with this one. I think it's too flexible, because if we go ahead and bring this like this, it just broke when she had it on. And look, even when I just did that, it came off like that. That is something that might be a flaw with this particular one. And this is the first time I've ever seen this with one of these pink smart hula hoops that has the Joy Jump label on it. I think it's time to call it quits. Here's another pink smart hula hoop that I have, and I wanted to just compare the two here. Now, if I go ahead and open this one up, if I kind of pull it apart like this, see, it feels like it is much more sturdy than this one right here. And when I have used this one, for the most part, I don't think I've ever had a piece just come off while spinning it. 
So I'm wondering if this one right here is a counterfeit because it just is too flexible and it comes apart so easily. I almost kind of feel like it's unusable. It's frustrating. Yeah, totally. Because if it's gonna just come apart, then how is that fun? How can yeah. you even do a workout or do anything like that? I think for the rest of this review, we may have to toss this one aside and I think we'll just change it out with this uh, pink smart hula hoop right here. Now Abby has the other pink smart hula hoop on. We basically just took the counter and put it on this one right here. And here is the old one that is so flexible and comes apart so easily. So now she's gonna try it with that one. Okay, so how does this one feel right here? Good. Okay. Once you get into the rhythm. Now we're gonna test out the counter function. We're gonna try 10 spins and I'm gonna count to 10 as she spins it around. So go ahead and start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop it. And let's, oh, <laughs> are you okay? Uh-oh, that is something you want to think about is if it's spinning around, be careful to maybe not grab it by the string part. That's a good thing it didn't happen to you. How, how many uh, spins did it register? Eleven. So it says that it registered 11. I don't know if it was because, because you caught it. caught it. So it could be accurate. It could be. One, two, three, four, five. That was better, that was better. So let's check it out. It says six. I counted five spins, but it said six. So okay. let's go ahead and try one more time, just okay. for accuracy's sake. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. And now it said seven. And I'm so, going slower that time Yeah, that too. was slower. So, so far the counter doesn't seem to be that accurate. Now we're going to test the counter function with this one. So I'm gonna count five spins as Abby spins it around. So go ahead and start. So one, two, three, four, five. So that may have been an extra spin. What did oh, it say? Four. Oh, it said four. Now we're gonna test it again. So one, two, three, four, five. So let's see what it says. Zero. Okay, zero. Uh-oh. So I don't know if this <laughs> counter is really working here, but let's try a third time. One, two, three, four, five. What did it say? Zero. Okay, so this one is zero. What is going on here with this? It looks like the counter is not working. <laughs> it seemed like it was working before, but I don't think it was I don't accurate. I think it was accurate. And now it's just not working. It's just registering zero. So I think in terms of the counters, the black and white one seemed to count something, though I'm not sure if it was entirely accurate. And this one just kind of stopped and yeah. it just got stuck on zero. So the other one seems to be the winner in that realm. However, it just, I don't know if it was really accurate. So maybe both of the counters on these, I don't know if it's really worth getting for these counters. I don't know about you, but so far this kind of feels like a disappointing comparison. Yes. Like there's not really much going on here. There's not a better choice. What did you think? Think of this one. That one was okay. I wouldn't spend money on it. Okay, so <laughs> you because I mean the counter is not accurate, and trying this one, feeling like with the, the better body on it, I mm. felt like it was still smoother than that one. So that is very strange. So I don't know if there was something wrong with the other one because it did feel different. Like when you it felt does. it, I bought both of these on, from Amazon, and I don't know. You know, if if there's a counterfeit Joy Jump smart hula hoop out there or whatnot, but it definitely felt different and it didn't feel as high a quality. A tip out there: you want to make sure when you buy these things that you that, that you are buying them from a seller that offers free returns, so you don't have to pay for shipping. Because the way that this one first came with the uh, original body. Unusable. Yeah. Unusable. Unusable. So overall, it looks like this black and white one won by default. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because it didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, it didn't really offer anything that was that exciting. No. Right? Which is why I wouldn't said I wouldn't want to spend money on it. <laughs> yeah, but overall, it was. You said it was. It was okay. okay. Right? Yeah. If it wasn't supposed to count then I would say, oh, it's a fine, you know, hula hoop or smart hoop. So I think it's safe to say that the final recommendation here is to not buy 
both of these. Yeah, the black <laughs> one or the pink one with the counter. But when we tried the different body, it seemed to work a little better. So I think this smart hula hoop without the counter on it, the normal pink smart hula hoop with the Joy Jump label, I still think that's a decent smart hula hoop and can work for a lot of people. I have an update. A potential mistake could have been made that could possibly have an impact on the results of this comparison review. Each button to disconnect this smart hoop is black, except for the button right here, which is red. Printed on the side under the red button section, there is a warning that reads, censoring section, no dismantle. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but if that is a warning to not disconnect the hoop where the red button is, well, in this review, the red button was pressed and the hoop was disconnected at that spot. Is it possible that disconnecting the smart hoop where the red button is could have an impact on the accuracy of the counter? Well, I don't know. Also, when it comes to the counter on the pink smart hoop, did it require its original smart hoop body for the counter to work effectively? That's another question that I don't know the answer to. So if you are still watching to this point in the video, I applaud you because let's face it, there wasn't much to see in this comparison. As a reward for you sticking around, here's a bunch of shots of Abby accidentally hitting herself with a centrifugal ball while shooting this video. 10, stop it and let's, oh. <laughs> Five, so five, so stop it. Oh, <laughs> for five. Oh, <laughs> wow. Are you okay? Just laugh. It's funny. Are you okay? Yeah, it's a good thing it didn't happen to you.